Hey everyone, Edward here at the Mac Observer and in this video I'll show you how to enable the Apple ProRes Log video format on your iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max in no time. Now, if you do not know what that format is, ProRes Log actually allows you to have the highest quality for video and also to be able to color grade your production in post. This can give you the ability to make your videos more cinematic or have full control over the dynamic range of your video. So here's how you can enable Apple ProRes Log. Tap on to settings, then scroll down until you find the camera section and just tap on it. Now in here tap on format and the last thing you have to do is scroll down until you find the Apple ProRes section, enable the toggle for it and then in the ProRes encoding tap on it and select log. Now if you're not interested in color grading you can also select HDR which can bring good quality without having to spend time on color grading your video. But log in here is the best because you get the video with any other effects burned in. So it's smoother, it allows for higher quality and from there on you can modify and apply effects as you wish. Now if we go to the camera and then tap on video you have the ability here to select ProRes log. But as you can see, 4K and 1080p at 60fps are only supported when recording to external storage devices, which is strange because I only use 24fps. Nevertheless, let's move on to HD and then enable ProRes log. As you can see, the colors are a bit more faded out, but after you apply your color grading, you're good to go. You can give it your specific tone that makes it look either cinematic or as you dreamt of. But if you want to unlock the 4K option with 24 frames and 30 frames per second, you can install the Blackmagic Cam. This is a great app that actually lets you record 4K in log directly on your phone. So we go over to settings and we can select resolution, 4K, and from here on the codec. Apple ProRes LT is the lightest one, but HQ retains the most quality for your videos, even though they're huge in size. And from here on, you're good to go. You can select the FPS in here, the shutter speed, so forth and so on. You have more control in this app than in the default one. So if you want it, make sure to check the link in the description below and try it now. It's free and it works perfectly. Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.